morning everyone. I'm Lizelle Beaconwell. And I'm Lori Maydi de los Santos. And I'm Leslie Tialercon. I'm Leslie Cuevas. I'm Lauren Gonzalez Camara. Today we will discuss about the effective radiated power and its subtopic. First, Ms. Lauren will discuss the first subtopics and to be followed by the other member. But before we proceed to our discussion, let's look into the objectives of this lesson. At the end of the lesson, students should be define and describe the effective radiated power, identify the different terms or subtopics which has a connection to effective radiated power, recognize what's the important thing why these terms is connected to effective radiated power, understand and value the importance of effective radiated power. The subtopics are definition or description of effective radiated power, Effective isotropic radiated power, radiation pattern, radiotransmitter, and lastly is the importance of effective radiated power or ERP. The effective radiated power of a transmitter with antenna transmission line, duplexer, etc. It is the power that would be necessary in the input terminals of a reference hub wave dipole antenna in order to produce the same maximum field intensity. ERP is usually calculated by multiplying the measured transmitter output power by the specified antenna system. Relative a half wave dipole and the direction of interest. Effective radiated power or ERP synonymous with equivalent radiated power is on IEEE standardized definition of directional radio frequency power, such as that emitted by a radio transmitter, it is the total power in watts that would have to be radiated by a half wave dipole antenna to give the same radiation intensity. Signal strength or power flux density in watts per square meters. As the actual source antenna at a distant receiver located in the direction of the antenna's strongest beam, main log, ERP measure the combination of the power emitted by that transmitter and the ability of the antenna to direct that power in a given direction. It is equal to the input power to the antenna multiplied by the gain of the antenna. It is used in electronics and telecommunication particularly in broadcasting to quantify the apparent power of a broadcasting station experienced by listeners in its reception area. So class, ang effective radiated power ay kasing kahulugan ng katumbas na, na radiated power ng isang IEEE or standardized na depinasyon ng redirectional radio frequency power, gaya ng ibinubuga ng isang radio transmitter. Ito ang kabuoang watts na kailangan irradiate ng halfway dipole antenna upang magbigay ng parehong intensity ng radiation o lakas ng signal o power flux density sa watts per square meter. Bilang ang aktual na source antenna sa isang malayong receiver na matatagpuan ang direction ng pinakamalakas na antenna na sinag or pangunahing lobe, sinusukat ng ERP ng kombinasyon na ang kapangyarihan ng ibinubuga ng isang transmitter at ng kakayahan ng antena na idirekta ang kapangyarihan iyon sa isang partikular na direksyon. Katambas ito ng in input power na nakuha ng antena. Ginagamit ito sa... Karaniwan itong ginagamit sa electronics at telecommunication, lalo na sa pag sa panghimpapawid upang mabilang ang maliwanag na kapangyarihan ng isang istasyon na, na, na pag sa himpapawid na nararanasan ng mga tagapakinig sa lugar ng pagtanggap nito. Ang isang halimbawa ng isang FM na istasyon ng radyo na nag advertise na mayroon itong 100,000 watts na kapangyarihan ay talagang mayroong 100,000 watts na ERP o effective radiated power at hindi isang aktual na 100,000 watts transmitter. Ang transmitter power input or TPO ng naturang istasyon ay karaniwang maaaring 10,000 hanggang 20,000 watts na may gain factor na 
5 hanggang 10, 5 times hanggang 10 times o 7 hanggang 10 dB. Effective isotropic radiated power. So, ano kayang ibig sabihin nito? And bakit siya may connection sa effective radiated power? So, pag sinabi nating effective isotropic radiated power, this is the alternate parameter that measures the same thing. Alternate. Kumbaga, ito yung maaaring pamalit sa ERP or the effective radiated power. Kasi nag-measure din siya pagaya nung sa ERP. Wherein, this radiated power is involving or based on isotropic antenna to give the same equivalent signal strength as the actual source of antenna in the direction of the antenna's strongest beam. And para magkaroon siya ng direct line, yung EIRP, kinakailangan niya nung isotropic antenna. Pag sinabi natin isotropic antenna, this is the hypothetical antenna having the same radiation in all directions or kumbaga meron siyang uniform direction kaya kinakailangan siya ng EIRP or kumbaga yung EIRP is nagbibase sa kanya which is the isotropic antenna. I also provide the other definition of EIRP and also the ERP. So, pag sinabi natin EIRP or effective isotropic radiated power, ito yung equal amount or tamang dami ng isang power na kinakailangan may apply sa isang isotropic radiator. Pag sinabi natin isotropic radiator, ito yung theoretical point source of electromagnetic or sound waves which radiates the same intensity of radiation in all directions. Kumbaga, kinakailangan ito ng EIRP para magkaroon siya ng same power density at a given point. Pagdating naman sa ERP or effective radiated power, ito naman yung equal to the amount of power that would have to be applied to a half-wave dipole oriented in direction of maximum gain to give the same power density at a given point. Dito pala, may kita natin na may medyo may pagkakapareho sila. May pagkakapareho yung isotopic radiator and yung half-wave dipole. Kasi pareho silang nagbibigay ng same power density at a given point. Kumbaga, yung isotropic radiator, kinakailangan siya ng ERP. Habang yung half-wave dipole naman is kinakailangan siya ng ERP. So, let's move on to their differences. Ano nga kaya yung pagkakaiba ng dalawa? Nung ERP or effective radiated power and then yung EIRP or effective isotropic radiated power. So, pagdating naman sa ERP, ito daw ay kinukumpara sa isang actual antenna which is the half-wave dipole. Well, yung EIRP naman is kinukumpara siya sa isang theoretical isotropic antenna. Kaya dyan sila nagkakaroon ng differences or nung pagkakaiba kahit na sila ay parehong nagme-measures ng isang power. Radiation pattern. In the field of antenna design, the term radiation pattern refers to the directional or angular dependence of the strength of the radio waves from the antenna or other source. So, a radiation pattern represents the energy distribution as a function of the signal transmitted by the antenna. Although the term radiation pattern is used, it applies just as well to receiving antennas. Three-dimensional antenna radiation pattern. The radial distance from the origin in any direction represents the strength of radiation emitted in that direction. So, the top, is, it showed the directive pattern of a horn antenna. So, horn antenna, it, it used to transmit radio waves from a waveguide or a metal pipe used to carry radio waves out into space or, or, or collect radio waves into a waveguide for receptions. And also, the bottom, it is show the omnidirectional pattern of a simple vertical antenna. So, omnidirectional is a class of antenna which radiates equal radio power, radio power in all directions perpendicular to an axis. Our next topic is radio transmitter. A radio transmitter is an electronic circuit which transforms electron electric power 
from a power source, a battery or means power into a radio frequency. Alternating current to apply to the antenna in the antenna radiated the energy from this current as radio waves. A term is a popular use more specifically to refer a broadcast transmitter, a transmitter used in broadcasting as in FM radio. The transmitter or television transmitter, this usage typically includes both the transmitter proper, the antenna, and often the building it is housed in. A radio transmitter is usually part of a radio communication system which uses electromagnetic waves, radio waves, or transport information. In this case, sounds over a distance. A transmitter can be a separate piece of electronics equipment or an electrical circuit. Within another electronics a device, a transmitter, a receiver combined in one unit is called a trans receiver. The term transmitter is open abbreviated XMTR or TX in technical documents. The purpose of most transmitter is radio communication of information over a distance the information is provided to a at the transmitter in the form of an electronic signal such as an audio sound signal from a microphone a video tv signal from a video camera or in wireless networking device a digital signal from a computer, a transmitter combines the information signal to be carried with a radio frequency signal which generates the audio waves which is called the carrier signal. Ano nga ba ang importance ng effective radiated power? So, ito po ay may sure the combination of the power emitted po by the transmitter and the ability po of the antenna to direct that power in a given direction. It is equal po to the input power to the antenna multiplied by the gain of the antenna. It is important po kasi it is used in electronics and telecommunication, particularly po in broadcasting, to quantify po the apparent power of a broadcasting station po, experienced by listener in its reception area. For an example na lamang po natin is an FM radio station po which advertises that it has 100,000 watts of power. Actually po has 100,000 watts of effective radiated power and not an actual 100,000 watts po ng transmitter. The transmitter power output of such a station typically may be 10,000 to 20,000 watts with a gain factor po of 5 to 10. In most antenna design, gain is realized primarily by concentrating power toward the horizontal plane and suppressing it at upward and downward angles. Through the use of base array of antenna elements. The distribution of power po versus the elevation po ng angle is known as the vertical pattern. When an antenna is also directional, horizontal gain and effective radiated power will vary with azimuth compass direction rather than the average po of power over all directions. 
it is the apparent power in the direction of the antenna's main lobe that is quoted as a station effective radiated power. This statement po is just another way of state, stating the definition po of effective radiated power. This is particularly po applicable to the huge herbs reported for shortwave broadcasting station, which use very narrow beam width to get their signals across the continent and oceans. That's all class. I hope you understand our discussion and you learned something.